Hello everybody, it's Kali here. I'm excited to see all my Blue Marinos coming and joining us for this week's simple video. This one is going to be a burlap star. We're going to decorate so cute. Guys, Simple Saturday videos are easy projects that you can make in under 30 minutes with um, not a lot of supplies. And I hope I break it down really simple and easy for you to get inspired to create your own. So um, make sure you like and follow, subscribe, do all the things to our page here so you can get more uh, notifications when we have something new. And I'm going to show you how we're going to make this one today. This is a burlap base. And as you can see, anytime you work with something like this, it's pre-made. You could work with a wood base, anything. It just makes a really cute way to decorate your door. Now this one has a hanger right here. So this is going to function as where it hangs. So if it has a built-in hanger, try to utilize that if you can. If not, what I would do is I'd turn it over and see where I'm going to add my own hanger. Like if I needed to add one right here, we could secure a wire up to here. That'd be okay. Um, but think about how your design's going to look and how I want my florals to go on top of that. So we, we love to work with florals here. So you're going to see us primarily do that on our designs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I like to put a piece of foam to work on. Um, just, it just makes it really easy to push things into the foam. So I know that the wires all come together here. So that's a perfect spot for this to be able to hold the foam. You cannot just put the foam over where there's just burlap. Y'all, some big trucks going by. Um, if there's just burlap, it's not strong enough to hold it. So I'm going to flip that back over. And we know we're going to put the foam right in the center. So I'm going to bring over my glue pot. And I've got heating up here. All right. So this is my electric skillet that I use. You could use a glue gun. Just be very careful. I like my electric skillet with the glue because it's, uh, it is, what am I trying to say? It is not as dangerous. Now, um, this one's not quite hot enough yet. I just plugged it in. I guess I should have waited a little bit before I started the video. Sorry, but um, let me show you a little trick. There is some hot glue on the edges and we'll just spread it out. Yeah, I got so excited. I forgot to wait for my glue pot to get hot. <laughs> but I'll steal, steal a little glue. But generally the nice thing about having a glue pot is you just dip it in. You don't have to do this. All right, so I'm putting a little glue on first. And I'm pushing it right there. Now, I'm going to go plug this back in in just a second. But while that glue is hot underneath, we're going to flip this over and have some pressure. And while it's hot, I want to push some floral pins. These are little U pins. See, they're shaped like a, a U. You can get these at your craft store. Put them in at a little bit of an angle and push them into the glue, into the foam. You got to do it before it gets hot. I'm sorry, before it gets cold. Otherwise, you can't get through the glue. So that's why I have to... Do it right now. I think three or four would be perfect. Straddle those wires because that gives you the stability. You know that there's a backup plan. It's not just being held by the glue. All right. Let me plug my. Let me plug this dude back in so he can keep heating up. We're gonna need more than the corners for glue. Sheesh. Rookie mistake. Now, because my glue pot is not hot yet, I would take a little bitty piece of fabric here, which I would just use ribbon generally cover these little pieces up so they don't scratch anybody's door. In general, this is not really anything to worry about, but it's just a nice little safety precaution. All right, so I'm not gonna be doing that right now, but you take note to do that on yours. You don't wanna tear up anybody's door or your own. All right, so there's my hanger, so that is my center line. Now let me tell you the supplies we're using. Of course, we needed the base, which this could be wood or anything you want, just a nice fun star. We're gonna attach our foam. Then I've got, I'm gonna need some scissors. I'm gonna need some wire cutters to cut some of our stems. We picked out this really cute um, red ribbon. It's just a red ticking and um, it's wired ribbon, but it's kind of muted. So it went well with this color palette. So just take your ribbon inspiration from the background. Less is more. We don't need a whole lot of different uh, textures because this is gonna have the textures of the floral. All right, a little bit of Spanish moss that we'll use around the foam to kind of hide anything. So I've got that off to the side. We'll use that at the end. Then one greenery, and I picked, this is called a leaf pick. It works great because it's small, but it's got these cool twigs in it, which I love. Then we're gonna use one fiddlehead fern, and this is a sweet little fiddlehead. It's got the, all these are wired really nice, and we'll use that for a fun little twiggy accent. And our main color is gonna be red. So we have a gorgeous red pro protea that's gonna work like as our, our focal flower. We only need one, really simple. 
And then this red berry. This is a eucalyptus, a budding eucalyptus that's done with a red. Gorgeous! So there's our combination. So like always, just like we do in design school, we're going to start with our greenery to set our perimeter in the back. So let's take this piece. It's usually easiest just to tear it apart and tear these into three sections, just like this. Some of that paper comes off. Don't fret. You're going to trim it. So I'll use my wire cutters. We're going to trim these real nice and clean. Just get all that riffraff off. See what I'm saying? Nice and clean. That's what we want. Nice and clean. All right, let's get this third one done. We have three pieces. And this all can go in the garbage. Now, I'm going to start to set my perimeter. And I, your design could go up and down, left or right, whatever you want. I'm going to go this way. This is the angle I'm going to be on. So you decide what you want to do. I do want to take these twigs. I'm going to leave them out long right now. And then we may curl them, these longer pieces. So I'm going for a swim in the glue pot here. I'm getting a little glue on my piece and then I'm going to push it into the foam. Okay, there's my first one in. Number two, here comes this one. Let's spread those twigs out. In design school, we call that shaking hands. We're going to shake hands. Shake hands, make friends. I'm always saying be the boss of your floral. You really do. You have to take the time to make sure things are facing forward. This is half the battle in, in all of this is make sure they're not upside down, backwards. Pay attention to the little bitty details. They're what's going to matter in the clean lines of your finished design. All right, here's this one. I'm going to go right beside it. And you notice I'm holding my foam as I'm pressing in. I don't want to dislodge it or put any extra stress on it. I'm actually holding it. All right, fantastic. I love that. Now, let's grab our protea and let's get rid of a lot of these leaves. I want to use these leaves around too. They have a nice leaf that almost looks like a le lemon leaf. And we're going to use it here around. And when I put him in, I'll glue that one back on. I just ripped it off. When I put the actual protea in, I'm going to have a really short stem on it. I could leave the one leaf there. That's fine. But I'm going to cut this really, really short. I'm going to cut it right below the leaf here. Okay, so it's nice and short. We can control it. I might even cut it shorter in a second. All right, we don't need this guy. All right, now these are going to go in. Cut these just to about a little inch stems on all the leaves. We're going to use these. It's a pretty leaf on there. This is the one I pulled out, but I'll just put it back in. And just cut it short so it's nice and firm and easy to poke in to my star. You see I'm cutting those little. And now we're going to work these around, just kind of all around to cover our foam. So I'm going to dip it in my glue pot and then we're just going to start to press them in. All right. I'm going to layer them a little bit behind and in front of. It's really important to have a depth and I really teach depth in all my floral designs. So think about that when you're putting things in. We don't want to cover up everything. We just want to add a little bit of depth. I'm going to seal this one off here too. We're going to use that one. Because next is our berries after I get these leaves in. I'm working it in from every direction. Yes, there we go. How cute. And we'll have that moss to cover up any foam we need to at the end. I'm going to put this one on top of those other two. These are little smaller ones. How cute. Now, if you want a different kind of greenery, you can do that. I'm just using what kind of came with ours. Let me save this one for a little bit because I want to tuck it up by the protea when I put it in. Okay. Hold on to that for a second. Now let's get our budding eucalyptus. We're going to trim all of these pretty short pieces, uh, keep their leaves, trim it off the stem. And we will use this one next. And a berry can also work like a filler flower. So that's really fun to add in texture. And I love the little leaf on this one it, because it's a eucalyptus leaf. It's got that muted green. Now I don't want these to be too long though. I've got to, Grab my cutters again. 
trim that one. We'll use that one maybe up by the, the bloom. And I'm going to my glue. And we're going to start to place these in. There we go. There's our first one. Make sure the leaves are facing front. Happy little leaves in there. Let's trim this one into a couple of pieces. How cute are these? Just like that. I got a couple. Okay. Now, let me take a look at how big my flower is. Okay, my flower is only about that big. We're going to put a little bow below it. So I got to be thinking, how much space do we really have? Okay, oh, that's going to be so pretty. Can't wait to put that in. Let's put some down here. Kind of tucking out from either side. My glue pot is taking its sweet time. Totally taking its sweet time. All right, and then maybe a little bit over here. And then I'm gonna save the rest to work in around the bow. This is our little save pile. We've also got our fiddlehead once we get the bow in. But I wanna make sure we're getting that foam cover. So it's okay to work back and forth. It's quite all right. This berry. Oh, I love all these twigs. Okay, so far that's where we're at. Let's get our protea in and we'll put the bow. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down to about two inches where we can just put it directly straight into the foam. So it'll look just straight in. So when it's hanging, it should look more directly at you like this, okay? Such a pretty flower. And let me press that in. Yes. Oh gosh, beautiful. And you can cup it and open it. So pretty. I love that. All right. Now, let's go ahead and put it aside for just a second. We'll make our sweet little bow. And then we're gonna tuck all this in around it. Now, I'm gonna make just a simple, regular bow. I'm not gonna add a bunch of, um, oh, well, we could do a couple of tails. That would be pretty. Changing plans. Y'all, y'all know how this goes. I get an idea and then I'm like, wait, another idea. So I'm using an easy bow maker just to hold it in the center for me. So I'm going to make my tail 16 inches, bring it to the center, and I'm going to twist. And I will make these at six, these first two. One, twist in the center. Six, twist in the center, hold it. Six, twist in the center, and you really want these to be fluffed out really pretty. If you just want two tails, you would just continue making here. I'm going to stop, and I'm going to have a second set of tails when I have my next loop. But depending what you want to do, you could um, you could just continue. If you only wanted one set of tails, you would just continue with the next loop. You wouldn't have cut there. You'd have come right here, and you would have had one set of tails. But I'm going to have a couple. So these will be about 14 inches long, this tail. And this loop will be shorter at 5, and this will be my last loop. So it's a really simple bow at uh, six, 6 and 5. And if you want less of a bow, you can just do a simple hand over hand bow. No, I'm gonna have to go outside and see what's happening. Big trucks are rolling. We're having bad weather, so maybe there's issues, but over here we're fine. Okay, let me grab a small cable tie to tie off the bow. This is an eight inch cable tie. I'm gonna run it right beside these. Gently bring it up, add some pressure and hold it in your hands just like this and we're gonna fluff it. Okay. Give it lots of texture and dimension. How cute is that? Okay, loving it. Now flip it over. We're going to add a floral pin to the back. So that's how we'll just press it into our foam. Floral pin going in. Get it tight, tight, tight trim that off. And the next thing I'm going to do is add a strip of ribbon right down the center. And that just covers up um, my cable tie and makes it disappear. You don't have to do that. You could add berries or something to the center or just cover it with a cute little chenille stem. This is usually my signature little trademark I do where I add that little piece of ribbon. Okay. Let's get this tight. 
I'm so excited to pop this in there. So the nice thing about a bow is it's going to take up a little territory in your arrangement, and then you can work all the florals in around it. Let's bring our project back over. Here he is, looking so fun. Here's where the hanger is. Here's our line opposite the actual hanger line, okay? So the bow's gonna tuck in right underneath the portilla right here. This is that big flower. You do need to put some glue on the uh, wires before you push it in. So I just grab some glue from my glue pot and I just use it on my dowel rod here. Good. And just push that in here. Oh, how cute. Oh gosh, how thick a count already. Now work it around in around your existing florals, including let's get the tails down. So my longer tail, I want to run kind of behind everything here as much as possible. The other one, do the same thing with here. Let's see. There we go. I'm zooming in a little for you. And then the top tails will take and curl them. Now, that looks really good. I love that protea coming out of there. Very beautiful. Now, the next thing I want to do is work in a little bit tighter around here with our um, fiddleheads and our berries. Okay, so let me take and trim these. I want to pull them just a little bit. So I'm doing that so I can get a little wire exposed. This is a really nice stem. It's very pretty all the way down to the base. So I want to just kind of tear it down a little bit, but I'm going to use that wire to insert it into the foam. So I'm making sure I have that done. I don't know why I always hit my sign. I just, I just hit it. I'm an aggressive designer. <laughs> all right, let's bring it up some berries and we'll mix them with the ferns. I know a little, a little bit of action over here, so I'm gonna dip it in the pot. Come on over. Press that one in. You can also trim these shorter, move them up. They're all wired, so get them going where you want them to go. A little bit smaller one coming out the bottom of the bow. This is a nice classic piece. Very, very classic. So if you're not into the glitter and the bling bling, this is a great option for you. Might go great with your door, what you have decorated. I'm gonna go over here, right coming out of this side of the bow. Just lots of fun um, berries popping out. All right, here's one of these, and this is this leaf I was talking about earlier. I'm gonna pop it right beside our main flower. Y'all, we're gonna have a supply list for you for this also, so if you need it, just let us know in the comments. We'll get it for you. And if you ever need to go back and find these videos, they're available on our blog on police.com. You can go to the whole library and access all of our Simple Saturday projects. All right, time to put the little fiddleheads in. Let's get them going. Bring this one in here. These are so fun. I just love these in real life and in artificial like normal. If I like it in real life, I'm probably going to love it in, in a floral design. Okay, and we can curl those more. I just brought those two to the center. We have two more here. I know I want one working right under the bow. There you go. Beautiful. And let's have one more come out the bottom, maybe flip it back the other way. How about this one? Did this come out amazing, guys? I'm loving it. Just totally loving it. I can't wait to see what you create. Uh, don't forget to grab your supply list here. Just let us know. We'll get you a link. But there it is. Now, my very last step is to come around with some of my moss and some floral pins. So what you need to do is take a look, and anywhere you could see your foam, you've got to... You've got to Doctor it up. Look here. Can you see that foam? Yep, I can see that foam right there. So I just take and make a little ball because I would never want my customer to see that. I want to try to camouflage it as much as possible. So I just take and pin some moss in anywhere I need it. 
and just ball it on itself like that, pin it in. And it's green, it's not that noticeable, but I just like to be really professional when I finish these off a little bit more on this side too. So you just rotate it around. You may be asking, why don't we put the moss in first? I don't like to have to fight to work around it. So we don't, we don't put it in first. We usually put it in last. And that helps us save some material too. Okay. Tuck this one in up here. Oh my goodness, we did it. There it is, guys. Now we can take these and curl them a little or leave them just out straight, whatever you prefer. A lot of times I love curling those just ever so slightly on these twigs. Mm -hmm. You'll see me curl a lot of stuff. That's why things like those fiddlehead ferns get me excited. My fifth grade teacher called me Miss Round Riding and apparently I like curls ever since then. <laughs> There it is, guys. Finally, we did it. Our star to hang on our door for the patriotic season, guys. I can't wait to see what you create. You go have fun with flowers. Like, follow, subscribe. Make sure you come join us. You can get on our text list at textkali.com, and I'll text you when new videos are out every week. Y'all have a great day. See you soon.